Good morning everyone, welcome back to my floor. I always start my vlog videos just sat in this exact spot on my floor. I don't really know why, but I'm back again. I went to Primark the other day. I hadn't been in so long, like I'm pretty sure I hadn't been to Primark in about five months, which for me was a long time. But I went to Primark and I picked up a bunch of their beauty products because I wanted to do another I only used Primark beauty for 24 hours video. Do you know what? I was having a little look because I've seen a lot of people do these, so I was trying to work out who did it first turns out it was me and i didn't even realize <laughs> like i'm pretty sure if you type it in my previous one was the first one and i didn't even know so yeah i have done one of these before but obviously primark always brings out new beauty pro bu beauty booty products booty products beauty products so these are all things that i've never tried before give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more of these like 24 hour beauty product videos i know i've done quite a few of them now but i really enjoy them so let me know if you like them as well i was thinking of maybe doing the same thing but with makeup revolution because they've got quite a few new well they've always got new makeup products but they've also got skincare as well so i feel like i could do one of these with revolution i don't think i've seen anyone do that before so let me know if you want me to do that and yeah let's Let's get on with it i'm gonna show you like a brief overview of everything that i've got you just know you've bought a lot of stuff when the lady at the till goes oh i think i'm gonna have to double bag this one i was like all right all right love what you're trying to say no to be honest i did get quite a lot like i, I did need that double bag <laughs> So this is everything that I got. I've got a bunch of makeup products. I've got some teeth whitening stuff, some face masks, a perfume. I've got some tanning stuff, some face cloths. Oh yeah, I got them because I like the colors. Don't really know if I need them, but nice colors. I've got some skincare and I've also got some hair products as well. So I have gone all out. I've got all sorts of stuff here. I've got so much to test. I'm really excited about these. So whenever I'm struggling with fake lashes, which is pretty much every time I've ever tried them, you guys always say I should try individual lashes. So I finally got some. I'm very excited to give these a go. Primark even do teeth whitening kits now. I mean, whatever next. I'm very excited to try that. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give that a go. So yeah, this is everything that I got. All of this came to, I think, about £50, which I think is pretty good for all of this stuff. Got a little bit chilly. The dressing gown has come out. It is it is cold. Um, Welcome back to my bathroom. You're here again. You're always in my bathroom. Get out. <laughs> these are the skincare products that I got. I went for the PS Naturals range because I've never tried this range before. Or have I? No. I didn't get this one last time. I'm pretty sure I got a different one. So to wash my face, I'm going to be using the PS Naturals Gentle Face Wash. This was £2.50. Okay, let's give it a smell first of all. I like it. It's a very like fresh smell. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know what it smells of, but it smells nice. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, so I'm just going to squirt. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this onto my hand. And oh, first I need to wet my face though, don't I? I don't know if I'm just being stupid. Probably. I cannot seem to open it with the cap. Like that is so stiff. No, I'm determined. I've done it. The bubble. Just gonna squirt a bit out. So it's kind of like a jelly consistency. And now I'm just gonna rub it into my skin. I mean, it definitely seems to have done the job. My face feels nice and clean now. It feels a little bit sticky though. And then to moisturize my face, I'm gonna be using the PS Naturals Daily Moisturizer. And this was three pounds, obviously, as you can see. So let's have a look. It looks like it's gonna be quite a, quite a creamy consistency. Can you tell? <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, it's like really thick. I like that, like a proper thick and creamy one. Okay, let's just put a little bit on my face. Okay, so I've just rubbed it in and I don't think my skin was the biggest fan of those. I don't know which one, maybe both, but my skin feels really itchy and I feel like it's gone kind of blotchy and a little bit red. So why am I always allergic to everything? I swear whenever I do these videos, my skin goes blotchy for at least one product. Like I don't know what it is. I must just have really sensitive skin on my face. Well, I know I do. So yeah, but this is PS Naturals. I thought it was all natural stuff. Like I thought there's no way I can be allergic to any of this. So I don't know if this is new. I've never seen it before in Primark, but they now have a teeth whitening kit. This is the PS Whitening Express teeth whitening kit. It's £3.50, which is very affordable for teeth whitening stuff because I feel like that can be really expensive. Okay, so I've just brushed my teeth with the toothpaste. I didn't film it because I didn't think you'd really want to watch me brushing my teeth, but it was all right. It was like any other toothpaste really, but I'm now going to try the teeth whitening gel. I thought it was just some gel that you squirt on your teeth. It comes with like 
moulds to like proper put your teeth in, which I guess makes sense, but it's just like a proper teeth whitening thing. Well, I say proper. Let me show you. So it comes with this like rubbery teeth mold thing that you just kind of put So this is the whitening gel. It's just like a really thick gel and it doesn't smell very nice at all. Like it smells really bad, but I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of this. Wait, how? So I'm just kind of like running it along this bit because that's the bit that's going to be touching my teeth. And then I'm just going to do the same on the bottom as well. I have no idea if I've done this right, but I'm now just going to stick it in my mouth. And I guess I've got to eat that for five minutes. I feel like it doesn't really fit for three. I'll see you in five minutes, okay? I don't even feel like the gel touched my teeth because it just didn't fit in my mouth properly Like this bit wasn't really touching against my teeth. It was like sticking out a bit I tried pushing it back further, but then I was like oh. <laughs> So it's a bit big for my mouth this one <laughs> Nice idea though. Nice idea Primark. I feel like I know what they were trying to do, but this Oh, it's still a little wet <laughs> I on myself. So of course I had to pick up a lip balm. This was only 60p i was gonna say 80p it was only 60p so a very affordable little lip balm how much was that lip balm in my other video with the expensive things was it like 28 pounds versus 60p um this is the ps nourishing lip balm with vitamin e and jojoba oil jojoba jojoba do you know what that actually smells so nice like it smells like vanilla like it's a really sweet vanilla -y smell but mm, i love the smell okay let's give it a go <gasps> feels decent that feels proper smooth and moisturizing i really like this i'm definitely going to keep using it oh on my tooth anyway i also got a hand cream i don't know why i never normally use a hand cream but i'll be honest i saw the packaging and i was like hmm that looks nice so i picked it up it's the ps what oh it's called cocoa whip i thought i said cocoa hip i was like what the cocoa whip coconut and lime hand cream it was 80p and i just thought the packaging was really cute so i decided to pick it up Ali, do you want to try this hand cream? Oh, do you not? <laughs> what do you think of the smell? Oh, I'm not sure. That's all right. Do you like the smell? Do you yeah. want it? Because I don't normally use hand cream, but I just wanted to test it. But you might use that. No, sometimes when I smell it, it smells nice. Sometimes when I smell it, it smells bad. But anyway, <laughs> it's definitely moisturizing my hands. Like, they feel softer. <laughs> yeah. I just love him. I just love yeah. him. See ya. Bye bye then. <laughs> so it is time to fake tan. As you can see, I've already got a bit of tan on. So I am going to be testing it on my legs because they are currently not tanned at all. But I basically really needed a new tanning mitt. Um, my one is, it's on its last legs. It has seen better days. It is a mess. So I picked up this one in Primark. It's the PS Bronze Velvet Thumb Mitt. It was only £3.50. And it looks like a really decent tanning mitt. Like I really like the velvet ones, but I've never tried one before with like a little thumb holder. And then for the tan this i've actually had for quite a while like i didn't buy this the other day but obviously to test the mitt i need a tan this is the ps bronze self tan mousse in extra dark i think this was three pounds and they do still sell it like i saw it in there so this is what it looks like it feels really soft actually like that is a really nice soft velvet let me just slot my hand in This actually feels really nice. Like it's a really nice smooth mitt and it's definitely blending it in nicely. I'm now gonna leave it to develop throughout the day, but I'll show you guys later how it's looking and what the finished result is for the tan. But so far, I like the tan, I like the mitt. So as you can see, I'm now in my filming room. Uh, that's why it's really bright because I've got my studio lights on. But I've just curled my hair with my Primark curlers. I didn't film myself doing... Don't... Oh, they are still a little bit warm. I've actually had these for ages. These are the curlers that I use pretty much every time I curl my hair. They were about £8. And like I said, they were from Primark. So obviously fits in perfectly with this video. I didn't film myself doing it because I'm pretty sure I've shown me curling my hair many times before on camera. So I'm sure you've seen these before. But hair has been curled and i'm now gonna do my makeup finally i've got a bunch of new primark makeup to test well i think it's new some of it i haven't seen before so i think some of it is new so the first thing i've got is a foundation i'm pretty sure i've tried this one before but i accidentally got it way too light so i'm hoping this time i've got the right shade it's the ps my perfect color matte foundation and i got the shade light beige i'm hoping this fit fits me <laughs> I'm hoping this matches me. I've got tan on, so I think that does look like it might match. So yeah, this was three pounds and I am gonna give it a go. <gasps> Are you ready? Oh, <laughs> okay. 
Oh, oh. I feel like this might be a little bit too orangey for me. I don't remember what I thought of this when I tested it last time, because that was ages ago. But did I say it smelled bad? Because it smells bad. That literally smells like paint. Actual paint. <laughs> I think it's safe to say I might need a little bit more. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna add a load more. Okay, that was a lot. This is not a good shade for me. Although I feel like it does kind of match my neck, but why does my face look so orange? <laughs> Maybe because I am orange. So for concealer, I've got the My Perfect Color Liquid Concealer. I got mine in the shade Nude and it was two pounds. <laughs> I quite like the concealer. I feel like the shade was all right. It blended out really easily. Decent concealer, pretty good for two pounds as well. I seriously need to stop putting my thumbs up. I thumbs up at everything, okay? I am not gonna put my thumbs up for the rest of this video. That is a challenge for me, but I'm gonna try so hard not to. No more thumbs, bye. Just watch me put my thumbs up in like two seconds. <laughs> so for powder, I didn't get a new one because I couldn't see any that I haven't tried before. And I knew I had this in my makeup drawers. So this is the My Perfect Color Loose Mineral Powder. It's in the shade Cool Sand and it's two pounds. So I have tried this one before, but just gonna whack it on for this video. I can't remember what I thought of it. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, all right, Santa. <laughs> this looks messy. Like there is a lot of loose powder. Okay, I've changed my mind. I don't like baking. I'm just gonna take it and put it all over my face. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I had a, I had a primer and I didn't use it because I'm just not used to using primers. So I completely forgot that I even had it. And now it's too late. This is the Prep and Perfect Primer Water. This was two pound. I'll give it a little squirt and see what it's like. Okay, we probably weren't gonna use it anyway. I can't squirt it. Are you serious? I'm using all of my force. Oh, I think you have to twist it first. So it's just like some water. Oh, it smells nice. The one time I get a primer and I forget to do it. Anyway, I'm now gonna move on to contour. I got the PS, obviously this whole video is PS. I got the contour and glow contour and highlight powder. I'm not gonna be using the highlighter cause that would be way too dark for me. And I've also got a separate highlighter anyway. This was £2.50, it's in the shade Sunset. But yeah, I'm gonna be trying the contour bronzy color, which looks quite dark actually. I'm so orange, I'm sorry. Every time I look, I'm like, I'm such a Satsuma. did it bad. <laughs> I feel like that side looks okay. This side, I don't know what's happened. I can't blend it out. It's like stuck. Yeah, it's definitely not my favorite bronzer in the world. This side I can't fix. Like I literally can't. I've tried to like blend it out. It's not happening. So we're just gonna ignore that side. I'm now gonna move on to blush. <sighs> It's so far, I feel like I'm not having the best luck here, am I? So this is the Blush and Beam Matte and Illuminating Blush. So again, you've got a blush and a highlighty side, but I'm not gonna be using that one either. This was also £2.50 and it's in the shade Pink Haze. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the blush. It is quite pigmented. I've probably put a little bit too much on, but I, th I think it's quite nice. It's a really pretty color. It's got a tiny little bit of shimmer in it, but not much at all. So yeah, oh wait, but it says matte. I'm seriously struggling to get into this. How cute is this highlighter? It's the No Angel Highlight. It was £3.50. That's a nice shade actually. It's a very like light champagne-y kind of color, I'd say. Are you ready? It is quite chunky though, like if you look up close, it is very glittery and chunky, but I just, I don't even mind. Like that is quite a highlight, like wow, wow. Oh, that is not so wow though. We need to ignore this area. Little bit on the other side. Honestly, that is like the most intense highlight I've tested in a long time. Little bit on my nose. <laughs> my nose is literally illuminating this room right now. <laughs> don't need my studio lights anymore, I've got my nose. That is bright. I feel like it is casting a little bit though when I look forward. I got a couple of eyebrow products. This is the Brow Sketch Pencil in the shade Dark Brown and that was £2. And then I also got the Brow Fix Tinted Gel and that is also in the shade Brown and it is £1.50. So I'm going to be testing both of these out. I like a good skinny pencil. Okay, let's give it a 
go. It looks like it's maybe a little bit dark. Maybe I should have gone for the next one down, but I, I just went for dark brown because I have dark brown hair, but this looks almost black. I feel like it was okay, but it's definitely not my new favorite eyebrow pencil. But for two pounds, that is pretty good. Like it did the job. They're very dark though, aren't they? They're, they're, they're you right? I feel like they look a bit darker than my normal eyebrows, but it was okay, it was all right. I'm now gonna try the brow gel to like set them into place. Um, the brow gel was okay. It's definitely helped to like fluff out the front a little bit. Although I feel like my eyebrows do just look way too dark and almost a bit too like blocky. Mascara, I'm honestly running out of Primark mascaras that I haven't tested, but I'm pretty sure I've never tried this one. I didn't recognize the packaging. It's the Fake It Full Slash Effect Mascara. It was £2.50. Let's give it a go. How big is your wand? <laughs> that is always the question. So it's one of those ones that kind of goes like, mm, you know, like curvy. It looks like an all right one, actually. It's not too big. It's not too small. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so I've done a couple of coats. I didn't want to put too much on because I do have some eyelashes to test as well. But it seems okay. It hasn't done that much, but it was very like separating and I feel like my eyelashes look all right. It's just not done that much. It's a very like natural look. I do have some eyelashes to test. So hopefully that will all change because they are, they're looking like some pretty long ones. So I got some individual lashes. These are the long ones. They did short and long, but I thought if I'm going to do this, I may as well go all out and get the long ones. These were only one pound for 30 individual lashes. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, you get some glue as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna yank one off. <laughs> that glue smells toxic. <laughs> and then I guess you just kind of stick it wherever you want it. I'm just gonna put it on like the outer bit. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, 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 it's kind of, it's stuck. I'm just gonna stick another one next to it. Who has the patience for this, honestly? Okay, so I've stuck five of them on. I'm not sure, I feel like it looks a little bit strange. I don't know if I positioned them wrong. Okay, I could be completely wrong here, but I feel like with these, it looks better when you just do like a couple on the outer corner. I just think that looks weird and that, it also looks weird, but not as weird. So I think I'm just gonna pull some of these off. Okay, no, that also just looks really weird. <laughs> this is not the result I was hoping for. So the last thing I have is a lip gloss. I know what you're thinking, Sophie, you never normally wear lip glosses, but I feel like I've tested most of Primark's lipsticks by now. So I thought it would be safer to get a lip gloss because I know I haven't tried this before. This is their high gloss lip gloss in the shade Nude Ambition. It's just like a nudie color. <laughs> oh, it's got quite a nice like sweet smell. Mm -hmm. That's all right, isn't it? I just hate lip gloss. I hate the feeling of having something sticky on your lips, but I mean, it looks okay. It is literally just like a nudie pinky shade of lip gloss. Yeah, it was all right. It was only £1.50 as well. So very affordable. And this is my makeup done. Um, so overall, I feel like it doesn't look too bad. It's just definitely not my best effort. <laughs> Why do I not look like me? I feel like I look different, like I don't look like my normal self. I don't know if it's the weird eyelash bits sticking out or the lip gloss, which I wouldn't normally wear, but I don't look like myself. I swear I look different. Anyway, I have another product to try out. I've got one of Primark's perfumes. They have a bunch of different fragrances in there and I went for the PS Soft Blush Eau de Toilette. This was only two pounds, so very cheap for a perfume. We might have a bit of satisfaction here. Wait, let me sit you down. <laughs> So yeah, it just comes in this cute little bottle and then it's got a little sprayer. Let's give it a little test. Oh, I actually like that. I like it. Let me give myself a little spritz. That was a lot. <coughs> that was really a lot. Oh, I need to evacuate the building. Yeah, I really like that. It's a really nice scent and for two pounds, that is amazing for a perfume. I wonder how my tan's doing. It looks like it's developing pretty well. I won't show you guys yet because I'll just show you later once it's like fully developed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything that I got to test in the morning. I've still got a load of products to test out later tonight when I get unready. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna go and go about my day as always. And I'll see you guys later to test out some more Primark beauty products. See you later. Look at that orange finger, it looks like a what's it traveling along there. <laughs> you might eat it. <laughs> Why does it look so orange? Because it is. Oh no. <laughs>
Okay, I am back. I've put my studio lights back on because it's now really dark outside so the lighting is awful but I am back. I thought I would check in and show you how the makeup's looking. I mean it never really looked that good to begin with but this is how it's looking now. To be honest it has lasted quite well. I took the little eyelashes off because they just looked really stupid. The lip gloss has obviously come off but I feel like everything else looks kind of the same as how it did earlier. I want to show you now how the tan's looking because that has now pretty much developed I think. So this is what the tan is looking like after it's developed. I feel like it looks quite nice like it's a nice colour. It's developed pretty well so yeah I just thought I'd show you before I rinse it off in a minute. So before I get in the shower I obviously need to take my makeup off i think i've made a mistake i thought this was like a makeup remover but i'm not sure that it is let me show you so again this is from the ps naturals range but this is the balm to oil cleanser it was three pounds i thought it was one of those ones that like remove your makeup but it doesn't say that it does but i'm gonna try anyway because i've got nothing else to get my makeup off okay so it comes in a little pot like this and i'm guessing yeah see it's another one of those greasy things like i tested the other day Oh, it smells nice. Like this whole range has a really nice fresh, sm <laughs> has a really nice fresh smell. Like I really like it. Okay, let's just test it on my forehead and see if it like breaks up my makeup at all. It's coming off a little bit. Let's try it on my, <gasps> no it is, look, look, it's taking my eyebrow right off. <laughs> Okay, so maybe this is like a makeup remover. That's good. That's exactly what I needed. Oh my goodness, I look ridiculous. I'm gonna keep going with this. I feel like it's gonna take quite a while because I've got a lot of makeup on. So I'll be back in a sec with a clean face, hopefully. Not again. Okay, wait a second. I've just done some of it. I wiped it away with a cotton pad and this stuff does actually work really well. Like it's got my makeup off, but I just remembered these. I have these and apparently they remove your makeup with just water. I've got to give that a try. Like no product on it at all. This will remove your makeup with just water. So you get three of them, a pink one, a white one, and a gray one. I honestly just picked these up because I thought they were cute cloths. I did not know they were makeup removers. That's amazing. So they were £2.50. That is so incredibly soft oh my goodness it matches my jumper as well i'm so pink right now i love it um that is really soft okay so i'm just gonna add a little bit of water and then let's just try it on my chin i mean it looks like it's coming off okay ignore how pink i look i always go a little bit blotchy when i first take my makeup off but oh my goodness this thing is amazing it took the rest of my makeup off it took my mascara off my makeup is now off and i'm gonna do a face mask i've got like three to pick from so i was gonna say you need to help me pick but you can't really can you <laughs> yeah i didn't know which one to get so i got all three they were 80p each which is super affordable we've got the pink clay mask we've got the bubble mask and then i've also got a charcoal mask as well so i don't think i've ever seen anyone try the pink clay one so i might go for that and then these two i think i'll include when i do my instagram controls my life for the day video and i'll get you guys to pick between these so yeah this is the pink clay pore refining facial mask it's enriched with pink clay and lotus flower extract mm, i hope it's pastel pink like i really hope it is because then we are matching all over we've got pink in all directions <laughs> it's pastel pink this is amazing. I'm not sure of the smell. I recognize the smell, but I'm not sure of it. Anyway, I'm just gonna whack a load of this on my face and hopefully I don't have an allergic reaction. <laughs> not as pink as I would have liked, but it'll do. I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes like it says, and then I'm gonna rinse it off in the shower. Oh wait, no, I'll come back first and show you how it looks dry, just in case you wanna see that. See you in a bit. So I've had this on for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna rinse it off in the shower when I get in in a minute, but I also have a shampoo and conditioner to test out. These were one pound each. So to wash my hair, I picked up the PS Super Blends Smooth and Sleek Shampoo and Conditioner. These are with coconut and keratin. They had a load of different ones, but I thought these ones sounded nice. So yeah, I'm gonna test these out in the shower obviously where else am i going to test them <laughs> my skin feels really nice after using the face mask i think it was pretty good and i also used the shampoo and conditioner which i thought was all right i definitely prefer the one that i normally use but i feel like it worked like for one pound each you can't really complain i feel like it did the job i don't know what else i need to do i feel like that might be everything 
So we're now in bed, it is the end of the day and that means it is the end of the video. I've tested everything that I need to test. I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye, good night. Good night. <laughs> good night.